Okay. I'll show you how me and Rob both miss Cathedral of the Deep. <clears throat> um... So, where is behind the shrine? Is it behind the top tree, uh, you mean? No. Go up the steps like you're gonna go out to fight the katana guy. Katana guy? Okay, whatever. Go up the way you came in originally. So you'll see Andre down the hallway, and then you see stairs leading up. Uh... Look, from from the bonfire location, if you look towards Andre, and you see yeah. a set of stairs that go up. Go up those set of to the mist? Go, uh, no. Uh, come back from the mist, and facing towards the bonfire, you're gonna go right. <clears throat> okay, so the mist is where you can, so, okay, so I'm facing the bonfire. You're bonfire gonna go right up go the right. stairs again. Okay. And then you're gonna see another mist wall, probably. Uh, I see a set of stairs going down. Are you sure you're telling this to me right? Yes. All right. Okay. Hang Go on. back up to the fog wall. I'm at. I'm at. Hold on. I'm at the bonfire. I'm faced towards Andre. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk this through with you. Okay. I'm standing at the bonfire. What you do is yep. you turn to your left. You go up the set of stairs. Okay. There's now a dude sitting top. at the left. Yeah. Okay. Now you're standing at the top of the archway, and above where a... where Andre would be, and you're looking towards the fog wall. Ugh. No, because you're just saying go up the stairs. I go up the one set of stairs. Now I am facing the fog wall. Okay. Okay. You're facing that fog wall. Okay. All right. You see. You see the arches that are still inside. If you look to your left, what do you see? I see a set of stairs going up. Yes, go up those set of stairs. Okay. Now at the top of the stairs, what do you see? Uh, I'd call it a round hallway arcing to the left. Alright. Start going around, but then look to your right. You should be able to see outside or a fog wall. I can see out through the windows. Alright, walk outside. You see a tree, right? Yes. That looks like... Alright, go up to the tree and hit examine. Seed of a giant tree. Okay. Good. Okay. That's that's. Now really I know good. what tree you guys were talking about. Yeah. All right. Now look up. Like uh, look left of it. Just the a bit tower. And you see... Yeah. Broken down with the door in front. Yes. Go up okay. to the tower. Use your key. Getting the item first. Yeah. Whatever. Just... <laughs> okay. Use tower key. Yes. Now I go into the tower. Yes. Going you up, go the up the stairs. The tower. Going all the way up. Okay. I'm up. And now I yeah. walk across the bridge to the other part of the tower? Yes. Okay. Okay. I am now in there. I'm assuming I use the elevator. Yes, use the elevator. Okay, and I'm assuming You're I walk the... back outside. Yes. Go to the right, right, up the stairs. Yep. Keep going up the stairs. I'm at the top, and there's an item under a belt. Pick Grab up that item. item. Yep. Firekeeper soul. All right. Now walk back. Going back <laughs> down that elevator. Is that literally all you had to spend the twenty thousand souls for? Is to get that firekeeper soul? That and patches. Okay, so I'm taking the elevator back down. Now, oh, he's locked me in. Yes. Go talk to him and exhaust his dialogue. Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the... Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're going to have fun Can with I the next part if late. you don't know about Katana, dude. <laughs> uh, talk. Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? Pat, this guy seems like a real asshole. Oh, no matter. I'll look after things. Well, he, that's his whole shtick. He's meant to be the dick. You're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. This Patch is the hyena. <laughs> patches, uh, tr trusty patches. Patches. Unbreakable patches. No matter. I'll look after things. 
exhaust. Okay, so that's exhausted his, his talking dialogue. options. All right. Now, you're going to turn around so you're facing the elevator again. Okay. To your right, you see a coffin in, like, in the middle of uh, the thing, right? Yep. You want to roll on top of that coffin. Oh, Christ. <laughs> or jump to it. You, like, any way you get on top of that coffin. I missed it. Oh, fell down on the coffins below it, though. Do you survive? Yes. Alright, just keep going down. <sighs> I'm assuming I pick up the item? Yeah, just pick up the item. There, there's another item in here, but you don't need to worry about that right now. Estus ring. Ooh. Gives you more health back for Estus use. I could use that. <laughs> Alright, there should be a gate in front of you. Uh... Yes, I see it. You want to go through that gate, but since you don't know about Katana, dude... There's probably going to be a guy standing on the other side. Yes. I suggest just running past him as fast as you can. Because I'm assuming he's excruciatingly quick. Yes, and he will sit in a stance that if you attack him, he yeah. will pretty much parry your attack and gut you like a fish. Great. So do so I want to run to the left or the right? Preferably probably to the left, because uh, the right is kind of, uh, well, it's just a cliff. It leads okay. to your death. Good to know. Let me know when, you, when you've when uh, you either died or uh, passed. Ran past him, I'm heading down a set of stairs. Yep, just keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward and keep hugging the wall to your left, kind of, as you go down. And you'll find your path leading back to the front of the building, where you can just enter the, the shrine again. Okay, yeah, I see it. Okay, are you back here? I'm back in the shrine. Alright, now, before... So you're looking inside, what you want to do is you want to turn right, and you want to go back up the set of stairs that you have. Go back up the set of stairs? So the ones that I went up before, I think? Yep. Okay. Oh, and then go talk to Patches? And then just... Walk along, instead of going out through the windows, just keep walking forward and Patches will be standing there. Yep. Go talk to him. Ah, oh, you're alive. Doing so. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice He'll give his old spiel about being, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't I mean to, but, but you're alive. Not one bit. Woohoo. You, you get these urges running, you know what I mean. You're alive. <sighs> I'm assuming I forgive him? You forgive him. Uh, An overwhelming urge for, like, here, give me a d20 roll. Give me a four to, sorry, give me a will save. Yeah. Now he is your merchant. You can buy shit off of him. Okay. Uh, alright, grab the leggings now. Yeah. Alright. Now, does he stay as my merchant? Yep. He stays as your merchant. Don't think there's really anything I need to buy off of him. Alright. New thing to do. You're going to walk right back out that window. Okay. And you're going to go right back up that tower. Why? Just just follow my lead. Am I? Is it okay to rest and get my Estus back first? That is fine. You can do. You can do that, but... You have to go back up that tower. Since you told me way back when about your habit of telling people paths are okay, and as much as you say, no, I wouldn't do that to you because, you know, we're getting no, into I'm the not, game No, I'm not, I stuff. won't be, until, until we get to a section where I don't know, everything I'm going to say is going to be true. It's going to be on the up and up? I'm going to be on the up and up, because... I mainly lie to Rob, okay? I can't... There's the mist wall at the windows. I can't go through. Wait for it to disappear. There we go. Go all the way back up the tower, he says. It'll be fun, he said. You won't get dizzy at all. Yep. 
<laughs> now you're, you're at the top of the tower? No, I just went up the first set. I'm getting to the elevator now. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go up the elevator. Don't go up the elevator. Okay. Go back to the bridge. Okay. On the left-hand side, do you see the rooftop? Yeah. You're going to drop down on <laughs> top of that rooftop. Do I have to worry about sliding off or anything like that, no matter uh, where I land? No, it's, you should be fine. Like, As long as I'm can... near the top of it, the pinnacle? No, no, you can, you can walk all over and you just won't slide off. So just drop down on, on top, you should be able yeah. to survive. Now, to your left should be a ladder. Yes. Just kick it. Alright. Ladder successfully kicked? Yes. Alright, just walk forward and then to the left you should see an item. Left, I should see, yep. Just drop down and pick that up. Homeward bone, times three. Alright, just continue walking along that path, and you'll come to another section which is like a flat part. Yep. Just walk along that and look for an entrance on the right. Message, front to head. Uh, the one with the stairs on it? Yeah, yeah. Walk okay. into that and be careful because you're now in the rafters. Okay. Now, up in the rafters. If I you can go... see an item. Yeah. Is this where you guys talk to the crows? Yeah. Well, one of them. There's an okay. area, like, if you go just on top of the roof, they're up there as well. Okay. So yeah, you, you can trade them the items item? to, get, to get things. You can leave them for now. But if you just continue walking forward, because if you walk to the, like, which way did you walk? to talk to the crows so did you uh, walk in and walk to the left or from the right i went to the left i passed i went to the second archway to get the item that was hanging from the body on it all right from the body go back to the middle and turn to your left and you Wait, should like see the middle middle of the rafters yeah, yeah yeah coming from the from where the item was if you come to it and you come to the section just turn left and walk forward you should see like a message or something I in front two. of a wall Illusion ahead. Yeah, just just roll through it or stab it or something. Hit it. Okay. The wall More has actors. disappeared. Yeah, yes. walk forward, walk to the very end, and roll off. Okay, there's a chest. And to your, and to your right is, is a chest. not mimic. And just open up the chest and see what's inside. Covetous silver serpent ring. Put that shit on. You okay. can finally do something. Uh, Read the description of what it says, and you will love this ring. Oh, more souls? Nice. Yes, more souls. Me and Rob, we're trying to... We eat it a little bit. We're, uh, the tree at the side that's white, Yeah. if you run at it and you jump uh, off of it, you can get up here. And you can get that ring, like, as soon as you get here. Nice. So that's what me and Rob did. We just went and grabbed the ring just so we had a shit ton of souls. <laughs> Do you know, like, kind of like what the percentage is that increases your souls by? Uh, no. I think it's... But it does a lot. It's it's enough to be worth it. Like, enough that it's noticeable? Oh, yeah. Good to it's know. Super, it's super noticeable. It's like... Say an enemy gives you, like, 22 souls, usually. Yeah. You might get, like, 30 to 40 souls. Oh, that's a nice jump. So it's a good chunk of change. So it's almost 100% extra. Pretty much. Because, like, since souls, they just kind of go with it. I don't think that, uh, too bad it doesn't stack with, uh, just popping souls, but... Oh, it does wow. give you... It allows you just to level up a little bit quicker. Now I got nine Estus flasks to use. Nice. See, how many Can do I, I reinforce have? my shit yet? Yes. Broadsword going up another batch. Yeah. Need more large Titanite though. Yep. Right. I would like to start working on the uh, Great Machete though. Yeah, you can do that. It 
it sh- what is it taking now? Just Titanite shards? It's just Titanite shards. I really only have enough for a plus one, so I'm gonna wait. But no, 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 no. Just put just put the plus one on it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Just that the if... Titanite shards are beginner upgrade materials. Yeah. And in maybe twenty minutes, you can you can have them infinitely. Nice. Because I was gonna say, all I'd have to do is just start working on my. I think it's endurance for my stamina, and that sword will probably become viable at some point. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Seagord now has his armor back, and I'm all good. Should I give what's her face the uh, firekeeper shlul? Yeah, 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 actually, yeah. But go check on uh, your. Yo? Yo? Yeah, the the guy you saved it, uh in the undead settlement at hot at low wall. Uh what does he look like? He's uh he's the pilgrim. Uh, I think this is him. Is he the one that talks about like the Lords of Cinder in that? Uh, yeah, like he's like uh, to the left of like the bonfire, and he just sits in the corner. Sword on his back? No, no sword on his back. Okay, and that was probably the wrong guy. All right, from the bonfire. Facing. If you're facing uh, Andre. Yeah. Look to your left. Okay. Like ninety degrees. Yeah. You should see, like, a hole in the wall. Like, with an archway. Yeah, and the, the stairs that go down. Uh, no. Or, no, oh, not... the lower archway? Not up the stairs? Yeah, yeah, the lower archway. Okay, yeah. And look down. Like, through the archway? Yeah, yeah, go through the archway and look down. Oh, you're talking about the guy? Oh, okay, yeah, the guy who looks like a foreskin. Yeah. Talk to him? Yeah. Does he look dead, though? No. All He's right. He's still standing. All right, you probably just want to talk to him, get your free levels, and kill yourself a couple times. Oh, we're going to do this now? Yeah, just go okay. do it. it, it uh, you'll kill yourself a total of, like, five or six times. So I assume then I do the draw out true strength? Yeah, draw out to true strength and everything like that. So, how do I know how many free souls I can get from him? He gives you one free level. Oh, so I just pick something? Yep, just pick anything. There we go. Alright, now go kill yourself twice. Twice, eh? Yeah, and as you do that, I'm just going to grab a drink and snacks. Uh, where can I kill myself? Uh, just jump yourself off a ledge. See if you can uh, get out through the fog wall and just jump off the edge. It's okay. probably the quickest way. By the giant tree? Going for it. I think he hit the bottom. Now, I should remember to pick up my souls first, correct? Good talk. Alright, I'm back with my drink. Hello. Please tell me you got something that's at least above 1% alcohol. Sadly, no. <sighs> We need to get shittered one of these days before we start gaming. 
I will totally do that. I'll go out and I'll buy myself a bottle of like either Captain Morgan rum <laughs> or Jim Bean vanilla whiskey. I'll get nice. fucking shit faced. I uh, I'm talking like we probably shouldn't even be conscious by the time we start playing games. Oh yeah, no, I I, I like that type of drunk. I, okay, I, so I I start talking really deep. Yeah. Um, I just get loud. <laughs> uh, so I get I've I get phil- philosophical now. when I get when I get absolutely shittered. I've died twice, so I go talk to him again. Yep, go talk to him and draw draw out true strength. Try out the strength again. Since these are free, I'm going to put these into my endurance to up my stamina. Wait, did I say they were free? Well, you mentioned, I don't know if it's on the recording or not from before, not this one, but one of the other ones we did, about how you have to basically pay back for those later on. Yeah. If you want to cure yourself of the curse, you go, you hand her the firekeeper soul. Uh huh. And then you literally pay back your levels in souls. Great. And they also increase the further you get along. So I want to do that as soon as possible then? Uh, probably. But another woman will show up and she'll start selling you items. So how many times do I have to kill myself now? Just twice. Every Two time you times? get it. A... Yeah. Just... And how many times does he do that for? Uh, he'll do that. I think four more times. So I have to kill myself eight times? Yeah, something like that. Jesus. But when you go talk to him, when it's uh, done, it uh-huh. will say draw true strength. He's like, I'm sorry, but I've given you all I can. Uh, you are now like the Lord of Hollows and everything like that. Fair enough. Yeah, he starts calling you my Lord. Or, sorry, our lord. Why aren't my so- Oh, they're on the other side this time. <laughs> I thought I lost my souls. Come on, smoke wall. There we go. So that's twice. Go talk to him again. Oh, goddamn pants. Fucking pants. This was kind of nice of having this over the internet. Where you're not in the same room is I can just (laughs) take my pants off at any time I want. Did not really need to have that information within my head at all. At any point. It's lovely. God. (sighs) What? It's more comfortable. Yeah, well, I'm still not one for doing that kind of shit. I've been walking around since 10 o'clock today. I don't want to know about you walking around and having to take your pants off. Hey, if I... If they would allow me to walk around in no pants, <laughs> I probably wouldn't do it. I, I uh, like walking around in my jeans. I really I got like to my jeans. disinfect my headset now. <laughs> Hey, I could be naked for all you know. I could just be lying. Well, then keep up the lie, please. <laughs> I said I wouldn't lie to you about Dark Souls. I didn't say anything about real life. Uh, sh- I think that's twice now I've died. Should have paid attention. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. God Go damn talk- it, Tuna, you distracted me. Go talk to him. If he doesn't give you anything, then if he doesn't prompt you to get a new level, then just go, go kill, kill yourself one more time. Or go die one more time just for bunsies. 
Oh, it doesn't have to be exactly twice, just like a minimum? No. It just two times to get it to proc. Okay. No, if it was two times, two times, two times, two times. I don't think anyone would have really noticed about getting free levels. Well, it's more like their own credit. I mean, somebody would obviously figure it out fairly quickly because people are fucking nuts. And they like to try out and finding shit? Yep. People that have a lot more free time than I do. And that's me talking here without having a job yet. Hopefully soon, though. Nice. Would that uh, telecom company? Uh, don't know. Still have to get them my insurance stuff. And I don't know if it's been too long or not, but... What, just like a social insurance number? No, no, no. It was, um... I had to get a letter of something or other. Recommendation? Nope. What is it called? Uh, letter of experience, I think it was. Okay. And, of course, my dad, not realizing how important it was to get that at the time, took his time for it. And then the insurance company took their time. And then told us that we had to talk to my mom's insurance company, and then they took their time. So, it's either I'm out of the running for that job, and I might still be able to get the one in Peterborough or not. I still have to wait to hear from them. Just no matter which one I get, if any, my life is going to get so hectic come June, if the things work out the way they might. Really going to suck. Because either... I'm going to be having to live at, like, my brother's place or something with a commute that's going to suck. Or I'm going to live for about three weeks up at a cottage that my aunt owns for three weeks. Still going to be a really shitty commute, but also no cable and no internet. <laughs> I'm basically going to be off the grid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was pretty much off the grid for a month, and I and I I started going nuts. Oh, I'm sure I will. It's I'm very attuned to my internet now. I love it. Yep, it's going to be like one of the number one things I'm gonna have to have whenever I get a place of my own. There's got to be internet. It's going to be unlimited. Yeah. For what you pay for unlimited internet, that's all you really need. Mm-hmm. You don't. You don't really need TV because Netflix and the internet has everything. Yep. At at your fingertips whenever you want it. But like that's the thing. It's like I'm not going to need TV and I'm not going to need a phone line. Uh -huh. You so need like... you need a cell phone for a work phone. Yeah. And internet. And that's your basics. That's all you need. If you want TV, yeah, go ahead. My parents still my parents still pay for TV. So do mine, but the only reason why they are still paying for TV and phone is... You bargain? Well, no, it's because we were able to get unlimited internet for uh, $10. Mm. Uh, because we have like a full th the three-way bundle with Bell. Oh, true. Yeah, we got, we got ours for like... It was supposed to be like $110 a month or something. Note to viewers, this episode is not brought to you by Bell. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm with Rogers. So, and Rogers has tried to screw us over a couple times, but we end up getting our own way. Because it's like, my mom's the type of person where she'll go at, at the company and she'll climb the corporate ladder. I could see that. Just, just so we can get, it's like, and most of the time it's just like, when people start calling about that or it's in a restaurant i just i just sit there and i'm like i'm not part of this it's like <laughs> i'm not dealing with this i'm She's only gonna go off here. and go do it i'm not <laughs> i'm not commending any of this i'm just gonna sit here and wait because i know what she's gonna do like i can't do anything to stop her so it's like i'm sorry that's all i can do is say sorry yeah kind of like a story of my life sometimes sorry oh. hey He's dead. Dead? Yep. Now I talk to the lady? Yep. Hello, lady.
dignified bow. Cool. All right, now she's just a merchant. I'd say keep her around for a little bit. What, there's a way to get rid of her? There's a way to get rid of everyone. It's called a sword. Is there any... Oh, well, why would I want to kill people? Or at least these people. Uh, she dropped. She has some pretty unique drops. Fun. Oh, so this is where you guys got the ring that does... Okay. Wait, un is that... No. Untrue Dark Ring. Is this the one you guys wear? Yeah. That makes us uh, look human. Okay. What the fuck is Dark Hand? Uh, that's like a shield type thing where it absorbs energy. So we'll just invoke uh, a unique Tlondor. It's also said to be an ancient relic of Primordial Serpent. The Dark Hand mercilessly saps the essence of its victims and can also double as a special shield. Cannot be used two-handed. Skill, life drain. Embrace the victim and steal their HP can only be used against humans. Huh. Untrue White Ring. That's something you should have. Oh, so this is something where it's like, if you guys enter my game, I can wear this and look like a phantom. Yep. Got you. And the Ring of Sacrifice is the one that breaks upon dying. Yeah. Okay. They're pretty much useless unless there's a section of game where it's like, all right, you're mandatory gonna die. So you just throw that. So you just throw that on and then you do it. Well, there's a section in Dark Souls One that was like that. If when you got to um, the Duke's archives, mm -hmm. and you go up an elevator. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's like, oh, you're fighting the boss, like, right off the bat. The area is fairly small. And then you go into the boss room, and it's just like, oh, this is easy. It's like, oh, I was expecting much uh, more. I guess it's getting near the end of the game, and they're just kind of throwing bosses at you at this point. Nope. You walk into that room, the boss is invincible, and he kills you. Hmm. And then you wake up in a jail cell. And you have to fight your way out and find your way back. Is this Persian stone needed? Uh, it reduces curse. Okay. So, I really don't know how much of curse is going to be showing up. Well, here's my question. Okay, so now my top... The thing at the top is no longer blue for my covenant. It is black, right? Yes. Or it's uh, all cracked? Yes. Yeah. So how do I get rid of that? Uh, that's using the... Uh, talking to the fire Giving keeper, her giving the firekeeper her... soul? And then bending souls equivalent to the amount of levels that you got. Okay, so I'm probably going to need... Like right now, I, I need like 39,000 so souls. Or how many? I need 39,000 souls. Oh, wow. It's not that much. I mean, if I play with you, and I'm the Phantom, it's just like, well, I'll just get all the souls, and I'll come back say, here at some Are point. we teaming back up again? Like, you said something about having to go to the uh, woods yeah, again. Yeah, Crucifixion Woods, yeah. So, I guess we'll travel uh, I'll there. get you to the next area, but then that's probably it for me for tonight, because I have to be up early to drop my car in. Fun. And then uh, I'm then I'm free all day tomorrow. I guess I still have to ember up, don't I? I thought you were. Oh yeah, you kill. You were killing yourself <laughs> several times. Yeah, I'm meet you in crucifixion woods. I just put my sign down. Yeah, I'll get you to uh, Farron Woods, and then that's about it. That's fine. Now, did you get a uh, merchant? from this area. I don't towards think the crystal so. sage. I don't think so. All right. Well, oh, we'll grab it, we him. We could always go over and double check, but We'll grab him. Was it the magic guy you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah, we talked to him, but he wouldn't do Oh, oh, right, 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 right. 
Uh, see, it's been a while, and I'm, I was tired at that time, so I don't remember. So, yeah, we'll leave him. <laughs> I think we were both exhausted, because that was like literally one episode of stuff that we did. And yeah, it wasn't we'll... much. Yeah. Being summoned. Put in my good luck summoning stance. <laughs> we have to follow Rob's rule. Don't move. Yeah. Don't move. <laughs> We all have our own little superstitions about what makes it work. If I'm waiting just to get into someone else's game if I, to fight a boss, I will just sit in front of my summon sign like this. Like I'll put it down and I'll sit like this. And I'll just... And I'll go grab a drink or something while I wait. Uh, let's see something here. A uh, human appearance. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, let's go. Now, does that get rid of my title of, like... Yep. Whatever it it's, is. You, you now say Phantom. Cool. Alright. Let's stick around here. Um, actually, no. We'll, we'll go fight. Over here. Watch out for the crab. Yeah, no. Just run past the crab. There's an item set right here that you want. I think we already got that one, because it's not there. Alright. Because that's an awesome item. That's an awesome item thing. And no, I haven't gotten like any of the items out this way. No, no, that's fine. I've only actually been out here once with a guy who basically wanted to clear out this entire swamp. He was the one where we actually managed to kill the giant crabs. Don't fucking mirror me. Okay, that one's dead. Now there's his brother. Ah, uh, you got it? I thought he like rotated towards you or something, and I thought I got it. Yay. Exile Greatsword? Cool. And the Great Club. Alright. Now there's a couple items in here that we can come back with. In a like later time, and just All right. pick up. Ah, the leg, popping in again. There's an item just over there. Say, do I need to kick this ladder? Nope. No. Nope. Descend. More homeward bones. All right, well, follow me. Like this bonfire. Lit that bonfire. And now we're in Farron Keep. This is the next area. Alright. So congratulations, we're done. <laughs> Here, just uh, de-summon me and like exit the game, and you can keep your ember for next time. Black separation. Bye! Bye-bye! Yeah, because this area is going to be a little bit of a bitch. Why can't I quit the game? Can't quit? No. What? Because there's an invader. It doesn't allow you to quit the game. You lied to me, Tuna. You said you've done that a lot of times. No, I never said I'd have. I said that's what I would normally do. Yeah, which means you've done it before. Not in this one. <sighs> you liar. Well, you can always do a hard quit. Control alt delete. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Well, I don't have much for souls, so if he kills me, oh no. You can go run up against an enemy and die. Sit and don't give him the satisfaction. Heard somebody shout. Yeah, it. That's uh. That's the uh, enemy. Probably. All right. That's. Oh. 
<laughs> Summon Bruce Jenner. <laughs> That's just funny. Where did it summon him from? I don't even see him. That is the one downside, even if you have the way of the blue, is it takes a while for their sentinels to show up. Yeah. And if you summon someone else into that area, you actually can't have a blue phantom come in. Because the area limit has been brought down because it's a uh, it's under Farron uh control. So it's it this area is ripe with oh, invaders. I found them. <laughs> nice. So we're probably going to get invaded a lot there. Can you only attack upwards on a ladder? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I don't think well, you're able to kick Bruce down. Bruce just died. Yeah. Is it a mad phantom or is it just an invader? I think it's a mad phantom. Is it purple? Red. Okay, then. Just an invader. Killed it. Nice. Congratulations. I feel special. Yeah, it's just a dark spirit. Yeah. No. Uh, Some dark spirits are really dickish. Wait. Others aren't. Why can't I use the campfire still? It takes a moment for it to to register that the enemy has dis disappeared. Uh I know, I know. Oh, there's another blue sentinel that came in. If he disappears, then you're safe. If he doesn't, well, there's another one. But it's Rubius. Rubius Hagrid. I don't know. Task completed yet, so he's leaving. <laughs> 